What's going on everybody, this is Daft Fancy here, and today we're going to get into a brand new rose deck that focuses on healing and flowers, but before we get into that, we're actually going to take a look at the shop because there's a brand new pack called the Flower Pack. This is a limited time thing that they're doing with the, uh, the summer event stuff, and you can get a bunch of uh, event cards. I actually don't have any of these first four. I do have four uh, make flower though. And you can also get legendary, super rare flowers. And you know, it fits perfectly with the deck that we're running today, which is a rose flower deck. So I think it's it'd be pretty cool if we just open one pack of this. So let's just find out what's in it. Um, you know, it's not really a waste of gems. We're just having fun with it. These packs look super cool, by the way. I'm just gonna take a screenshot of that. I think that looks awesome. And let's open it up. Let's hope for an event card or a super rare or um, yeah, let's just see what we can get here. We just got four metal petals. And Petal Morphosis, it's perfect guys, it's perfect. We got all of our hopes and dreams. This is, this is sadly my second Petal Morphosis, isn't that ridiculous? Petal Morphosis is uh, not a very consistent card anyway, so wow, okay. Kind of a bit underwhelming, but we're gonna get into uh, the gameplay right now. So this is the new deck, um, Healing Floral. He healing Floral, like floral as in um, flowers and like for all healing for all I tried way too hard at these deck names um, <laughs> but uh, yeah so we're playing the uh, the the known Venus flytrap planets along with the heart of choke kind of combo I do only have two heart of chokes my heart of choke also combos with um, uh, power flower and taco so we should be able to pull off uh, some things it also combos with um, with a Planet of the Grapes, I think, yeah, just a little bit. Uh, we're running, you know, the Strike Through Apple Saucer. I think it's pretty good uh, late game. It's pretty good early game if you have to deal with your opponent's uh, three health minions. Um, yeah, you know, we have Mayflowers for Water Lane Presence. We have this Leaf Guy, which is pretty good since we're running uh, six environments and only two of him. Um, we also are running Dr. Pepper, which some people might think is a bad call for this deck, and but I think we're just... You know, we're just gonna try the whole healing thing, and we are running two Venus flytrap, which obviously dies pretty easily. But um, yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Uh, let's see how it does in a race match. All right, so we're up against a Smash level 26 Smash. Um, so we got a lot of our late game. Let's get rid of our six cost. Two, four. We'll get rid of this because we don't have an environment. And we get an environment. Let's get rid of the four. Um, let's get rid of the taco too. Okay. So hopefully this is more of a late game smash. We might get messed up a little bit if he does sports, but we did get weed whack. And weed whack is um, probably the only good uh, early game rose power. That's the one you want to start with usually. And that thing. Um, we could go for the Dr. Pepper here, but we don't have a heal the next turn. Uh, let's go with it. Let's see what happens. We're both gonna be doing two to each other. We can still weed whack that next turn, and he might he might pass trying to grow it, you know, so that'll be that'll be a plus. Um, so what's that gonna be? That could be a sumo, that could be... Um, yeah, if that's a sumo, we wanna do this. And Planet of the Grapes is fine. That could be a rats. Yeah, it's a sumo. So now he can't take out the Dr. Pepper, which is kinda funny. He should probably move this to lane 4, actually. So I don't get the card draw, and if I try to heal, I can only heal in lane 1. It's a good plan. Um, so now it's turn four. We can go environment. We can go uh, boomerang. Boomerang is probably the better play here. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Um, I don't think there's a way I can deal with that. This is fine. You can block. I'm okay with that. Kind of sad. The vampire is going to get a strike uh, through here. Oh, we'll see what he gets here. 
he is going to use the galvanize. Okay, he's kind of putting all of his eggs in uh, one basket here. Not playing around squash, but I don't have squash, so I guess it's a good play. There you go. Uh, turn five and taco. Okay. Nice. That's how you use synchronized swimmer. That is how you do it. Did this guy buy this early access? Maybe he only has one. That is crazy good. Wow. Crazy, crazy good. So I think we're just gonna go with this. If we get, I would literally like go to Fi. Or um, well, all of our powers uh, can stop this from attacking. Yeah, uh, synchronized swimmer. Wow. That's that was the one I didn't really want. Now we still have to deal with the water lane. And that's going to be very difficult. We are going to draw a card here. Um, yeah. Mayflower would be okay. So, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of worried. Obviously. Six. Pass six. So he's probably just going to... Locust. He could also maniacal. Maniacal wins if I don't heal here. Um. Okay. I think we do this and this. Not a bad play. This will be a four-four. And even if he does have maniacal, we can we can actually win. We could win this right now. We have we have a total of 10 damage. He just needs to roll poorly. I mean, statistically, he blocks if he gets all twos. But let's see what he has here. He could have Maniacal, which he'll use in two. Yep, there's Maniacal. So, um, that's going to be an 11, 10, Frenzy, which is scary. He rolls a one. He rolls a three. We need to roll a one, and we win, or we lose. Nope. Okay, we win. Yeah, it was a good game, you know. Um, the synchronized swimmer was really good there. We couldn't deal with the uh, with the vampire as soon as we needed to. So that's a bummer. But well, let's see what we can do in the next game. Okay, up against Professor Brainstorm, level thirty-four. Let us see. Let us see. Um, wow. Okay, we're just starting with all our, like, late game a lot of the times. We don't want this. Uh, we'll get rid of the fly trap planet. Okay, this is pretty good. We have the morning glory. Later, it's good against brainstorm. Uh, right now, it's fine in case of chimney sweep. And we got weed whack again, so we should be able to deal with any of his early game stuff if he has any. And we have the Mayflower for a later card draw. Mayflower really can get you some late game stuff. Which is nice. If you don't just draw, like, weenie beanies over and over again. Which happens sometimes. What do you got, Mr. Brainstorm? Draw cards? Conjure cards? Conjure. It's so fun to use Professor Brainstorm power, power to do. You're just gonna get a bunch of random zombies and imps, and sometimes we get crazy synergies. Even like getting mixed up from from that super is like super good. Mixed up combos with so many different things, and just getting it is so cool. So cool. Um, we're just going to Morning Glory in that lane, because it wins the matchup. He could have, like, you know, Firework next time, maybe. But yeah, this is a good play. Um, next turn, if he goes to deal with that, Morning Glory, we might just, uh, Mayflower. Actually, I don't really have another play. I could Apple Saucer and Weed Whack. Let's just see what he does here. Yeah, so he does have the firework. Apple Saucer is not a bad play, but I think I want to develop the Mayflower just to get this going. And next turn, we can, you know, uh, we could just play the Bloomerang in that lane if we really want to. So he's doing three damage to us, but we're getting a card draw. So it's pretty good. 
Ooh, we got Black Eyed Pete. That's amazing. That is an amazing card that we now have access to. We can do um, Apple Saucer and Black Eyed Pete. If he passes here. What do we do if he passes? I'm gonna go for chickening. Wow, is he actually going to try to go for chickening? Um. Chickening. He could have Wrath as well. I think this double play is crazy good. If he goes for the chickening, our Mayflower and our Black IP survives, and the Black IP gets pumped up. If he goes for Wrath, um, he could take out the Black IP or the Mayflower. You know, but no matter what, he's he's gonna he's gonna get a bad matchup somewhere. Here. Yeah, so he's just gonna space cadet, which isn't gonna do much. And okay, environment, that's fine. So that's a trade. Um, we still don't have an environment, which is kind of weird. We should get one soon here, though. Mayflower into Jackal Lantern. That's cool. I don't have any of those guys. Jackal Lantern definitely is cool. I would really like to run him in my Chompzilla. Uh, strike through bonus attack deck. I think Jack O' Lantern would be a great addition to that. We could go for something weird like Dr. Pepper um, heal. He's just passing, which like scares me in a weird sense. Um, I think we're just gonna go for the Dr. Pepper heal. He could have, you know, beam me up or something. This is a fine play though. Um, we get a 4-4, four, four. we heal up back to full, we get a card draw here if everything uh, works out. You know, he could roll well, he could have Rocket here, he could have Wrath here. Let's see. There's the Wrath, and Double Plummet. Pass, take the 4. Um, so... We're pretty balanced in cards here. Okay, so we have this guy. We can play this on his environment and bounce back one of his zombies, which is pretty good. So if he, you know, drops a big bomb here, maybe like, I don't know, Smashing Gargantua, people play like? Probably not. That. That's a big bomb. That is Gas Giant. So we can definitely play the Leaf Guy and just blow that back. Um, and what else? Weed whack won't be used then. Do I just go for the blow? Maybe. I c yeah, if he didn't have such a good block meter, we might as if he didn't have such a good block meter, we might have went like this and Jack O' Lantern. But I definitely think this is the play. It keeps our 4 4 alive, it keeps our tempo on the board very strong. And you know, he committed everything to that play, so being able to bounce that back and still, you know, maintaining my 4-4, being able to hit him for another 3 damage here more than likely, it's pretty good. Summoning into into that environment lane would have been pretty good. He probably would have um, gotten rid of our Leaf there. What is this guy called? I just call him Leaf. It's Leaf Low. Okay. So we could Gas Giant again. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have another environment to do this on. It would be nice if we would have uh, top decked that. So he's going to do one damage to each other plant and zombie. Is that not himself? I guess so. Wind destroy do five damage to the plant. Okay. So weed whacking that doesn't really do much. Um, we could weed whack heal and then jack o' lantern. I think that's the right play. So look at this. We're gonna put that down to a 3-3. It's still gonna do one damage to everything, so it does have a bad matchup with the Dr. Pepper. But here, we're gonna heal and grow the Dr. Pepper, and then we're gonna hit him for a bunch of damage here. So we're gonna hit him for two, and then three, and then two. Okay, so he has the um, zombie can't be hurt. That's fine. Um, Cause our Dr. Pepper survives, and just nothing gets dealt one damage. Wait, did we not heal? Oh, wait, we're at full health. Okay, that was a complete misplay. That one's weird. Oh, we got, um, yeah, that from summoning. Okay. We probably should have summoned in three, right? I think I would have summoned in three. Now our healing guy gets a uh, double buff. We could heal the um, Dr. Pepper, which is a good play. Wow, I can't believe I just completely uh, took sidetrack that I was at 20 health. I didn't. I didn't even think about it. I was just like, oh, okay, we're gonna heal. 
Probably because like turn eight, and I didn't expect to be at full health in turn eight. Um. Okay, we're just going to do this. Let's see what we get. We could get um Mayflower. I think I'd play that instead. Um, do we go with the Leaf Blower? We could. Let's do it. We reveal the zombie does a bonus attack. So he probably will do this with the gas giant and we'll take that thing out. Yeah. But we do have lethal damage on board and that's it. So that's good game. So that's that's one way this deck can really um can really get the opponent. You know? So everything does one damage. He does spawn a swabby. Oh, yeah, he's safe. Wow. He had a 50-50 chance. Okay. I didn't even take that into effect. He's still alive. He's still alive, he's still kicking. He does have a Swabby in lane one though, and we're just going to uh, play Boomerang there. Um, but yeah. This is how this deck can do pretty good, you know. Um, what's gonna be his play here? Is there a way he can get past the Boomerang in lane? Oh, there it is. Wait a minute. Oh, he got this from Escape Through Time. Hmm. All right. So what is the play here? What is the play here? We're going to be hit once, twice, three times. We might block. Okay, I think we're going to do this for sure. And then uh, maybe we just do this and this. It's not a bad play. The zombie does a bonus attack. So it's probably going to bonus attack in lane three. Right? Lane three. Wait. Can he still survive? No. That was a misplay. Because he needed the Swabby to land in the water lane. Yeah, because now I get, um... I get that, and now I win the game. Yep. That was a misplay. He should have bonus attacked with the Pharaoh. Um. Because two of my powers would have taken out the Pharaoh. Go to Fi and, um... Transfer or transmog, which we just got, and he needed the swabby to be spawned in the water lane to prevent that that leaf damage, and uh, that was lethal. And for our last game of the day, we are up against Brain Freeze. Um, really, thank you guys for uh, watching my videos. If you do really um, watch uh, a lot of the videos, we are going to be opening one more of the flower pack which we just opened at the beginning of the video at the end here so um stay tuned uh we're gonna be opening another one hopefully we can get an event card or something better than you know petal morphosis like we did um this is going to be a pet deck um we're just gonna right off the back play the morning glory morning glory is going to be um low batter uh, Morning Glory is going to be safe here for one turn, and we can Weed Whack it, if we want to. Um, just to win that matchup completely. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because he was looking to either Freeze, or what's the other pet trick? Blow. Yeah. Freeze or Blow? It's probably Blow, actually. We're going to play for Blow, I think. Maybe hey, Freeze. We'll play stuff on heights and water. Um, we'll do this. Why not? What is he gonna have here? Below. Um, oh, environment. Okay. Yeah, so we can play plant, Planet of the Grape Stone. Great play. We're gonna get a uh, free card draw. Expresso. Okay. So we're doing fairly well um, against a player who started with Cat Lady on turn one. It was cool that we had the Morning Glory to combat it. It's a combo. So if we, oh, that's going to be pumped up. Okay, sure. Um, we could replace his lane, right? I and mean, it's not going to give him frenzy. But what does it do for us? I think we're actually going this route. We are going to heal next turn, right? And we're going to develop these really big threats that he's going to have to locust swarm later. Uh, more than likely. So this is going to proc the block. He's going to bounce. I would like this to get the Morning Glory. That's best case scenario. No. That was the one I did not want it to get. Um, the Dr. Pepper probably would have been better than that. So we are taking a ton of heat. We're down to 9 health. He's down to 12 though. 
So, gotta keep that in mind. We get another Dr. Pepper. So we might just Dr. Pepper... Wow, he's committing so much with that. This is going to be a crazy play here. If that's it... Wait, so... Wait, he used Bounce. He could still have Freeze? He could still have Freeze. Which, does that change my play? I think it does. We're gonna do this, and he'll face. That's it. We're gonna have three Dr. Peppers going up here. Who said Dr. Pepper was bad, huh? Who said Dr. Pepper wasn't worth running, okay? We're getting three buffs up here, okay? Just waited till he committed, and places, placed the two. And, uh, let's see if he can handle this. How is Brain Freeze going to come about this. He does have the Galvanite. Okay. So he doesn't have Freeze. So his last power is a Freeze and Acid Rain. So that's what we're going to play around with. He's at four. We did not block that, which sucks. Okay. <laughs> He's at four. It's turn six. With two Mayflowers. Okay. He's going to play that there. And what? He's going to have another play in turn one, right? Or lane one? Hunt. Wait, I'm just gonna move that. Is he okay with that? Okay. Ducky lane. Sure. So if I had some removal, I could have gotten something off, but I can't. Um. What's the play here? We can Mayflower for a card. We can get rid of this guy's frenzy lane. I think we're going to double Mayflower here. The crazy thing about this is our Dr. Pepper still survive. So he's doing really bad matchups here, and we still have the Espresso. The Espresso cannot be um, undone. Espresso is a great late game card. So turn eight, we basically win. Transmog. Do I transmog this? Yes, I do. And genetic experiment. That's fine, that's fine. We're okay with that. We're gonna get another card, and that's Wash. That's amazing. Turn seven. You know, one more turn till that. And let's see what he's got. If he passes... Let's see. Uh, Yeti, you sure? Yeti and pass. Could he have something really scary? I don't think so. I think we always do this. And we can 5 and 2. Or 3 and 2. Um. 4. And we can play that thing again and try to win. I think this is the best play. I think this is the best play. How is he gonna, how is he gonna deal with this? If he has a couple nibbles, he can get back into it. For sure. Um, he's got lunchbox, yeah. I knew he had that in hand. I think he has another one. Yeah. And what? And secret agent. Okay, so he's just playing around. Because he realizes he lost. Yeah, I think we have this, right? Is anything... Uh, freeze. Yeah. We win. That's it. So really, he just committed there... And, um, we were able to get off the Dr. Pepper, which he wasn't able to deal with, and we got a lot of uh, damage in that way. And we were able to win, so I think Dr. Pepper is safe to say that Dr. Pepper's won us that game, you know? Dr. Pepper's can be very effective if you wait till they commit, and that's what we did. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. This has been our healing floral deck, and we are going to go get one more of the flower uh, packs. Let me know if you guys uh, have any good flower decks or healing decks. I know healing uh, can be really effective. Um, so here we go. We're just going to go into the packs and we're going to get one more flower pack. Let's hope we can get some event cards, a legendary, a super rare. This pack is so cool. I really like the design of it. Big money. Everybody cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. Here come a couple uncommons. Stop right there. Yes, we're going to get something good. There's another. And we got an event. We got a Spirus. That's super awesome. I think it's so cool. I don't think you can even craft this yet, right? Oh, no, you can't. Okay. 
but I mean, still getting his Pyrus is super cool. Um, we might actually start running that in our Rose deck, uh, maybe. We got, this is our uh, third Petalmorphosis, so um, yeah, we got a Spyrus. That's crazy good. Um, so here's the deck. If you guys want to copy it, that's pretty cool. I really like it. Um, it probably could use a little bit more fine tuning up. Um, I don't know, maybe there's too much late game in this deck. There's too many four drops, probably. Maybe cutting down the bloomerangs, uh, kind of making hard to choke um, your four cost flower from now on. That might be the, the better play. Just add some more early game, maybe two more apple saucers. Um, but yeah, guys, we got a Spirus, which is crazy. Um, that's going to be it for uh, me today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.